<laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hey guys, um, notice anything different? Maybe the quality? I got a camera, and I got a camera, and I got a camera. Guys, I have a camera now, so we're doing it. We're doing it, and we're doing it big. Hi, I'm Santana. Welcome to my channel. I have a camera now, so you should definitely subscribe. So, yes, I finally, finally bought a camera. And I have this ring light, so we got a whole setup going on today. Sorry if the lighting isn't the best. I'm still learning how to work with all of this. Also, sorry if I'm looking right here a lot because that's where the viewfinder is. And I'm not used to this. This is all very new to me. But we have a camera, we have a whole setup, so... <laughs> so yeah, on with today's video. Okay, so I have this ginormous tub of nail polish. All different colors, shapes, sizes, and even textures, believe it or not. Yes, I have crackle nail polish in here. So, the plan for today's video is I'm going to gather 10 different colors from this here bin. I'm gonna paint all of my nails a different color and we're just gonna hang out and talk because I've been on this YouTube path for probably about a year now. It's been a few months over a year and I feel like you guys don't really know me. I haven't really put out very much about myself. I haven't really talked about just who I am yet. So I thought, why not do that now? When, what better time? Let's do that today. So I'm gonna pick out these 10 colors and then we'll get started. The thing that I'm the most excited about having a camera for, which I honestly feel like is so ridiculous, but I'm so excited, is to just do this. I always see YouTubers do that, like when they're just like, like, oh my, I'm so, I love that. Why is that so satisfying to me? Okay. Okay, so we have our colors picked out. I realized I don't have a good, okay, not that I don't have like a variety of colors, I just don't have a lot of different colors. I have a few shades and a lot of colors. So what I'm going to do is paint one pan, these five different shades of pink. And then I'm going to paint the other hand, these five shades of blue. Is that gonna go with that? Yeah. So that's the game plan, so let's get started. I'm actually gonna put my hair up so I don't have to worry about it. I'm realizing now I probably should have like prepared some questions or thought about what exactly it is that I'm going to say about myself, but um, you know, I thought we could just talk. So, right off the bat. Also, I'm probably gonna be looking down a lot because that's where my hands are, painting my nails. Also, PSA, if there's any scratching, thrashing, moving of things, uh, random noises, my cat. Anyways, we're gonna start off with this one and we're gonna talk. I'm gonna be looking down, so sorry about it, but let's talk. So, my name's Santana. Obviously, I am from Southern California, LA area. I'm not gonna get too specific because there's no need to, but. I was born and raised here, but I'm currently going to school in Arizona, so that is where I live right now. I live with my boyfriend. We have a little two bedroom apartment and we have our pet cat and his name is Yang. Now, if you've watched probably almost any of my other videos, you've definitely seen Yang. He is my best friend in the whole world. He's literally my most prized possession. He is my emotional support animal. Not legally, but I know in my heart that he is. Because when we first moved into our apartment, it was just kind of weird. We lived in dorms last year. So I just finished my sophomore year of college. I'm about to be a junior. And we lived in our dorms freshman year. And then we moved in together sophomore year. But you know, moving into apartment is very different. And obviously we're not always there at the same time. So it can get very lonely. We actually had really opposite schedules for the first semester. So it was just super lonely. It was weird. I felt really uncomfortable being there by myself all the time. And then we got Yang, and he made everything so much better. So he really has had a big impact on my life, and 
I don't think I could have survived living in that apartment without him, honestly, because he keeps me sane. So yeah, I go to U of A, which is a interesting <laughs> school to go to. University of Alcoholics. That doesn't just come from nowhere, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's definitely an interesting school, but um, I love it. Not necessarily that I just love the school itself, but I've met a lot of really awesome people and made a lot of awesome memories, and I have fun when I'm down there. So I'm really happy with where I'm at currently. Right now, like right now in the second, I've been at my parents' house because of this whole coronavirus thing. I've been home for almost two months now and I don't know when I'm going back to Arizona. I might go back for the summer, whatever. None of that really matters. I don't think that's, like you didn't click on this video to hear about my summer plans. You came to hear about who I am. So let me get back on track. Next hand, next finger. This pink. Okay, let's go. What else about me? I wasn't ever a big sports person. I did dance in high school and that was super fun. I absolutely, yang, stop it, go away. I absolutely love dance. I've been doing it since I was in elementary school on and off, but in high school is when it got more serious about it. I was on a dance team my junior year but that was also the same year that I learned I had muscle disease. So I couldn't keep doing dance because it was just too hard on my body, especially doing like competitions and stuff. So I had to stop, which is really kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> but I am planning on making a whole video just about my muscle disease and going into detail about it, talking about my experience with it and just, you know, I kind of want to educate people educate people about it so that's gonna be a whole nother video that i am planning on doing at some point don't know when yet but so yeah i have a muscle disease whatever i'll go into that in detail a different time but i'm fine i'm healthy and i'm living and i'm not stressed about it so we can move on from that one let's see what else what else what else oh next pink oh my gosh what else could we talk about let's see I have a boyfriend, his name is Jake. We, if you watch a lot of my videos, you've definitely seen him because I'm with him almost every day, except for during this quarantine. We have not been with each other, but it's okay. We've been dating for almost three years, so that's exciting. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah, that's all you need to know about that. Wow, I'm literally only on my fourth nail number four, and I already feel like I'm running out of things to talk about. So maybe I should just paint a little and then come back. I'm gonna like brainstorm a little, get some juices flowing, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna keep talking. Okay, I thought of something. Also, we're on the last pink. I don't know if any of that's in focus every time I do that, but last one. Okay, so let's talk about my YouTube channel. Me, YouTube, why I decided to do this, what, what am I here for? What do I have to offer you and why should you even think about subscribing to me? Let me tell you. So YouTube is something I've been wanting to do for a few years now. I love watching YouTube videos. That's how I spend most of my pastime. I don't even really watch TV shows, Netflix or anything like that. I'd rather just watch YouTube videos. And I've also always really loved editing videos. Even when I was like super little, I have like home videos on little CDs or DVDs or whatever that I made on like my dad's computer <laughs> when I was like seven. I don't know, I've just always been kind of interested in the whole like editing videos and stuff. And then after a while, once I was in like high school and stuff, I'd kind of like pretend vlog, like I'd like fake vlog and never do anything with them. Freshman year of college last year, I started vlogging and then I would edit them and then I just wouldn't do anything with it. Like I was literally making pretty much YouTube content and just letting it sit on my computer because I was afraid of being judged, of think people thinking my videos were stupid, people, you know, nobody caring, like, which is so stupid. So I finally manned up, manned up, men up? How would, what would be the past tense for man up? I manned up, I manned up, I manned up. I don't know, but I grew a pair and I started my channel. So here, 
here is my channel. And if you don't really know much about it, let me tell you about it. Um, my big thing, my kind of like main, not necessarily main focus, but what I really love to do the most is vlog type of videos. So let me start painting my other hand. Starting with the other blue. I love vlogging. I think I have a pretty interesting life. It's not something super crazy out of the ordinary, but I definitely have some fun and I have some funny friends. So I always wanted to just kind of share my life with other people as a source of entertainment. But I also really love fashion. I've been super into clothes the past year or so. I like trying out products. I love makeup and stuff like that. So that's why a lot of my videos <laughs> end up being random fashion, hauls, makeup, get ready with me type stuff because I love doing all that stuff too. Here, you're really gonna get it all. You're getting it all and it's all me. So <laughs> that's why you should subscribe. If this isn't mildly entertaining, if you think I can provide some sort of entertainment into your life, hit that subscribe button because I'm not stopping anytime soon. Like I promise you, this is just the beginning. This is the absolute beginning. And if you're here with me right now, thank you. Thank you so much and I love you. And anyone supporting me right now at less than 100 subscribers, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Next, next blue. Oh, oh, I was also gonna say like another reason why I really wanted to start YouTube. I wanted to be able to build up this kind of platform for myself because I, I, I got a few things to speak on, all right? I feel like I can relate to some people who might not have a lot of people that they can relate to, maybe. I don't know. I can be like relatable. But, I don't know. I'm excited and I love YouTube and I'm just excited for the future and everything to come. <sighs> okay, honestly, I don't have anything else to really talk about. <laughs> that's something you say in a YouTube video. I feel like that's not something you just like expose yourself about, but I'm gonna finish painting my nails and then I'll come back. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wait, that's so weird. I painted my toenails like a couple weeks ago, just two random colors. And I painted one foot like a pinky orange and the other one blue. And then I just looked up and realized I just painted my nails to match which foot was which. Like my toes literally match my hands on accident. Yang. Why are you tapping my foot? Okay, well I painted all of them. Oh god, my freaking witch fingers. Please ignore that. I painted them, but the blue definitely needs some more layers. What's the word? Layers? Coats. Coats. Let me do some final coats and come back. Okay, okay. ladies and gentle fish. I think I'm done. Um, don't get your hopes up. Here's what they look like. Here is our pink hand. Sorry, this lighting is like coming from upwards, so it's not all that great. Oh my God. I'm such a like, it's okay, it'll all wash off the part that's on my skin when I wash my hands. Ass bitch. But I feel like every person is like that. Is, I feel like every person is like that. Like is there anyone out there who actually paints their nails with like normal nail polish and does it clean and precise and is like I'm not going to get it on my skin at all? If so, <laughs> I props to you. I don't have the energy for that. I don't know, I guess this is kind of the end of this video, like I painted my nails. We talked about me. That was the objective, so there's not much left to do other than say bye, I guess. Right now, I'm working super, super duper hard to try to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you watch this video and you're still watching it right now and you enjoyed what you saw, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Also share this video with a friend or two, even a family member, maybe your mom, if your mom likes to watch YouTube. Yeah, so please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, do the whole Yay! Do the whole nine yards and I will catch you on the flip. Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. <laughs>